Hey guys and welcome back. Um, if you saw my last video, you'll have noticed that I had a ton of laundry to do and I just got tired and I went to bed. So now I am taking care of all those clean clothes that I folded that video and we are going to take care of it this morning before we head out and do a bunch of family things. And so we are going to do that right now. Fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose Baby going down, 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 down so it looks like it's going to be a super sunny and warm day. Perfect weather to go do a bunch of family things outside and head to a couple stores. fall going what are you up to are you doing family things are you not into fall activities what is the weather like in your area let's chat So while the hubby is getting the kids ready to go, I'm just going to make their bed real quick and then I'm going to put away all their laundry so that we can head out. Oh, 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 
Hi guys, I'm just popping on. Um, we are all ready to go. I think today we are gonna go to a pumpkin patch and let the boys get some pumpkins. Then we're gonna go to a couple different stores. Um, we're gonna end up going into Ikea and getting their bedside tables because when we ordered their bed and their dresser um, back in June or April, one of those, um, they didn't have the dressers that matched it in stock. So now they do have it in stock, so we're gonna pick those up and then, um, yeah. We are going to have breakfast. So I'll walk you through how I made the baked French toast and then I'm going to start making some chili in the crock pot. That way it'll be ready for us when we get home. All right guys, so now that we're dressed, I'm gonna be making some French toast casserole. This is just some bread cut up and then I have some coffee cake here that I'm putting in right now. And these are the ingredients you need to make the batter. It's just vanilla, cinnamon, allspice, and then of course milk and egg. And then I put a little bit of white sugar in it. And I'm just gonna pour it over just like you would when you make regular French toast, just so that the bread is nicely covered evenly. One chance, one chance. And you might actually have to get your hands in here and just make sure that each piece is covered by turning the bread or you could use a utensil if you prefer not to get a little bit messy. And then here I am patting it down just to make it a little bit more even so when we add our topping it will coat evenly. And so now to make the batter or the frosting on top I'm just whipping up some butter right now and adding a little bit of brown sugar and then you're going to add the other ingredients that we added before so the vanilla the cinnamon and a little bit of allspice and you're just kind of making a almost like a frosting so here i am putting on the batter on top of our french toast and you're just going to spread this out evenly to make a nice little caramelized crust like I said earlier, just make sure to spread it on evenly so that it cooks evenly. And then I threw on some sausage just so we could have something with it. And this is what it should look like once it's done in the oven. It takes about 30 to 40 minutes to cook just because you wanna make sure that it's not too gooey in the middle. So I like to let it sit for about 10 minutes before I cut it up and serve it. But this is a recipe that my kids and my husband love. I make it almost every time my husband has a weekend off, which isn't really very often. So it's a nice little treat that we have. I like to serve it with some berries or some fresh fruits on the side and it's super, super delicious. So now that it's breakfast, I need to hurry up and make this chili so that we can head out. It's about 10.30 right now. I'm just gonna get out our booty and start getting everything together. So I know the kitchen is looking real different lately. I promise I'm going to be doing a kitchen reveal video and that should be coming up fairly soon within the next week or so. So this chili recipe is pretty simple. I like to brown my meat separate from putting it in the crock pot just so I can drain some of the fat out before. But it's basically just ground beef or turkey, corn, celery. I'm putting a little bit of sausage in it because we have some leftover. 
and some onion and then we'll be cooking that up right before we put it in the crock pot. After our celery is cut up, we're just going to put it to the side and then we're going to chop up our onions so we can add it to the meat while it's cooking. So this part is optional, but I like to just add some sausage and I only had this breakfast sausage on hand so I'm just chopping it up because it is frozen and so it cooks a little bit faster and I'll just brown it along with the meat. So now to season it, I'm just adding a little bit of salt and I'm making sure that all the meat is browning evenly and then I'll be adding some Cajun spice and then some red pepper. So now that we got the ingredients in the pot, we're just going to add chili beans, kidney beans, pinto beans, diced tomato, some sazon, oregano, cumin, and some chili powder. So we're just going to set the timer and then we are going to pack up and get ready to go on the road. So it was such a good day to do the pumpkin patch because it was so sunny and still nice and warm. And then the boys wanted to get on this big huge blob jumping thing and they had a blast. We are in, we are in.
are in World Market right now. And look how pretty all the furniture is. I really love this coffee table. So pretty. We all like this one. And we like this couch too. Not furniture shopping, just killing some time, waiting for the hubby. Come on, guys. Yeah, guys, there's some cherry blossoms. There's some pink and white ones, and not this one. Kinda liking these two for our island in the kitchen. Funny high foes turn to friends now. Drive a race car like a target now. Call filling up, I need product again. Treat the business like a playground, might slide on you. This little entertainment center is giving me some ideas, maybe for a mud room or in our laundry room. And if you saw the previous video, you know my laundry room is a hot mess and I need to figure out some way to get it organized and looking a little better than it is. I'm also loving the color of this kitchen. I love that dark green color, especially with the brass and the gold it looks so pretty never let it stop i just want your everything baby maybe later we can dance never let it go listen to our favorite songs so we grabbed those two nightstands for the boys and then we are heading home here is a sign that i got from the pumpkin patch i thought it was super cute and then here is a little clip of the hubby putting together the nightstand. So here's the update. We bought the boys nightstands from Ikea and it is from the Hems collection. And it just matches their bed and then their dresser. We also got one for Andre, and I think now the room looks a little less bare, and now they can put any of their own special toys that are just for them, and they don't have to share in there. So it's been a long day, and now it is time to dig in to that chili. I'm just putting out some crackers and chips and then some cheese so that we can have a topping for the chili.
So that was a glimpse of a fall day in the life for us and we are going to start digging into this chili. It was so nice coming home and not having to cook an entire meal and just having a warm bowl of chili to get down with and now we are all just going to sit down together and eat. Everybody slipped into something a little bit more comfortable and we're just gonna sit down and eat and I just want to thank you so much for watching and I hope you are having a great fall and you find some activities for you and your family to do and of course don't forget to like comment and subscribe it really helps my channel and I will see you guys in another video bye bye Listen to our favorite songs on the radio.